Hello and welcome back to the Rainbow Library. Today I am bringing you my weekly reads for the week of May 20th, 2022. So I read two books this week. I started another one and there's one that I am thinking about picking up this weekend. So I'm going to talk about that one as well. So the first book that I finished this week was Best Friend to Dr. Wright by Anne McIntosh. And this is a medical romance, as you can see. Um, this one took me a little bit longer to get through because some of the content was a little bit emotionally heavy. Um, I don't know if I would necessarily call it like potentially triggering or anything, um, but it was a little bit um, heavier. It wasn't as light and fluffy, so that's why it took me a little bit longer to get through this one. Um, but I'll just go ahead and read you the blurb on the back. Sometimes the deepest desire is the one you've hidden the longest. Realizing her world is dramatically falling apart, Surgeon Mina's childhood friend Kia offers her a fresh start on the beautiful Caribbean island he calls home. She's beyond grateful for his help in regaining the spirit and purpose she feared she'd lost. But when a long-denied attraction spills into their friendship, they must decide whether to risk everything on the breathtaking passion that's quickly unraveling between them. Um, so there's actually a lot more going on in this book than that summary reveals. Um, the main character, the female main character here, Mina, she is actually recently an amputee because of an accident. And so she kind of feels like she's not going to be able to come back to her career as a surgeon. And then um, when her childhood best friend Kia comes back into her life, he kind of helps her to see uh, some of the ways that she can still uh, make a difference in the medical field, even though she is not able to perform surgeries in the same way anymore. Um, so that was really sweet. And he's also a single father because um, his sister passed away. And so now he is taking care of her child. Um, and so, yeah, there's really a lot going on in this book. The characters are very complex and they all kind of have their um, emotional difficulties that they are working on unpacking, um, which is kind of, like I mentioned before, what made it feel a little bit heavy, but it was still very sweet. Um, it had just the right amount of spice to it. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun and I would highly recommend this one. So that is Best Friend to Dr. Wright by Anne McIntosh. Uh, the second book that I finished this week, I do not have a physical copy of to show you, but that is Rivalry at Play by Nadine Gonzalez. And that one, I was lucky enough to get an e-arc of it from NetGalley. And so I'll be posting my review um, either June 3rd or June 10th. I haven't decided yet, um, but one of those two, most likely June 3rd, um, that's when that full review will be out. So I'm not going to talk about that one, but I will say that I read it in less than 24 hours. So I think that kind of tells you anything you might need to know if you were interested in picking that one up. Uh, next we have Minor Feelings, an Asian American Reckoning by Kathy Park Hong. So I am reading this for my um, Asian American literature course, which I'm taking over the summer. And we've only read two chapters so far. Um, it's kind of serving as like, like throughout the course we are reading like a chapter here and there. So I don't think we're actually going to read the entire thing throughout this course. Um, it's just kind of serving as like a, um, like a counterpoint, like an additional, um, like supplementary text, I guess, to the other things that we're reading. Um, but I'm really enjoying it so far. And so I feel like, uh, once the course is over, I will go back and read the chapters that, um, we didn't get to in the syllabus. Um, so yeah, this is of course nonfiction and it is all about um, like the Asian American experience and Kathy Park Hong's um, experiences in particular. Um, but I can't say much more than that because like I said, we've only read two chapters so far. But yeah, very thought provoking, uh, very well written. Um, so yeah, I would recommend this one. And last but not least, we have the book that I'm thinking about getting to this weekend. This is Their Alaskan Past by Belle Calhoun. This is a love-inspired romance, which means it has, um, like, a religious element to it. And, um, it also means, typically, that there will be no, like, sex on the page, anything like that. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in, this is one of those. And I'll read you the summary here. She broke his heart years ago, but now she needs his help. Veterinarian Maya Roberts has complicated feelings about her ex, I I did a rod racer, Ace Reynolds, returning to Owl Creek, Alaska, but he's the perfect person to help with her dog rescue. Now they're working together, caught by their tangled past and still unresolved feelings for each other. But a second chance with Ace isn't just about forgiveness. It means sharing the secret that's kept them apart. Uh, I've never read anything by Belle Calhoun, but I've purchased a couple of her titles because they sound so good. 
Um, and this will also be my first um, time reading a love-inspired romance. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, honestly, like, Belle Calhoun's name alone has a lot of pull for me. Uh, even though I haven't read her work, I've listened to a few of her interviews, and I've heard tons of good reviews about her writing. Um, and then also you add in um, an Iditarod racer as the hero, and just the Alaskan setting, like, it just sounds really great. So I'm really looking forward to this one, and hopefully I'll be able to get to it this weekend. Uh, we'll see what my summer class and my job has in mind for me. Uh, I may not have much time for reading this weekend, but if I do, this will be the one that I pick up. So that's all that I've got for this week. So thank you all for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at Michael F. Myers. Of course, that's not my name. That is the name of a podcast that I host, which is related to mostly horror movies, sometimes horror books. Um, so you can go and check that out if you're interested. Um, and I'm always open to feedback. If you uh, message me on Twitter or anything, or if you comment um, underneath this video, I will certainly read it and reply to it. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next week.